<laughs> what is happening? Hey guys, as promised, she is back. We got Jessica with a Y here today. She looking all cute. She miss you guys. So this month is Weedtober, where I will be busting out not only Jessica, but you'll get to meet her whole family. Stay tuned. But anyways, today we're doing something a little bit different. Not really, but kind of. We gonna be checking out some animals who got no chill. Just straight up savage. Does not care for his fellow humans. Can someone please explain why the there's a dog on this plane. Dog on plane replies. Mind your business. I paid for my ticket. You got a problem with dog on a plane being on a plane? If so, you better take it to my manager. He minded his own business. You know, he just looking back to see who kicking his damn chair. All right, that's it. I was going to watch the movie, but forget it. For the next five hours, you're my. Where? Where? He a big, strong, good, independent boy. He got his own seat. There's nothing you could do. End of story. Whatever you do, don't ever, ever mess with your cat because they are very smart. Like this cat went up on the desk, saw a thumbtack, pulled it out, and then put it in its owner's shoes. Ah! What? Either he trained in this cat to be a killer or he ran out of fancy feast. This is scary that a cat can do this. Have you ever seen a more guilty pug? Oh! Oh, <laughs> you know what? That whole mess, it doesn't even matter anymore. Just one look into his eyes and you know he's sorry and he'll never do it again and that he's a good boy deep down inside. Over here, we got a little white cat in a box. Oh, hello there. Do you mind if I smell your box? Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. It smells good, don't it? Yeah, smell it with me. Gotcha. And shuts the box of that poor cat and then sits on it. He trapped. That cat trapped the other cat. This is entrapment. What did that cat do? Is it gonna try to get out? Or is it just gonna lay there? Comment below. The cat straight up bully. Whoa, I thought this was a rocket launch. It is a cat trying to change a light bulb. Oh, here is that same cat launching a rocket. <laughs> it's so funny, you can't tell the difference. Smoke cat, smoke cat. I wanna know why it's trying to change the light bulb. Doesn't it have a human to do that? Or the light bulb is still on, you're supposed to turn it off before you change the light bulb. You burn your little pot. Or maybe it's just doing his little yoga poses. IDK. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself in there? I know it looks snug, but you I It's not gonna like suffocate or anything. How do you get it out? Do you like take scissors, snip her out? You Gucci in there? You need some friskies or anything? Yikes! Somebody buried this dude in the sand. And then the seagull. They go come and take a big fat spicy sh all over his forehead. Man, I swear, seagulls, they out to get humans. They out to get everybody. They don't even care. Look at that one, he's just chilling. Like meep, meep, got any food? Meep. They don't go meep, do they? What sound does a seagull make? <laughs> oh. This one got food in his mouth. He took a little breadcrumb, did his business on the human's face, and he gonna make like a bird and fly. Get the hell out of there. Yeeties to the feces. No! Whose cat is this? Like what you doing? This human just trying to take a nice bath. You know, just sitting here bathing in my own filth. And this cat go come climb up on the bathtub, start looking in places where no cat should look. Oh, the irony. So that's why they call me a p the best part about animals is that they can't judge you. Or maybe they can. You don't know if they're judging you. You have no way of ever knowing. Like, I can bring my doggies to the bathroom, to the bathtub. They have seen me do everything. Everything? Everything. They have seen some sh man. Talking about seeing some sh Can we talk about how my lipstick is all over my can? That's a little ratchet. It can't be just me. If your cat, dog, hamster, whatever pet has seen you do some things that you don't want no human ever seeing you do, comment below. This photographer was out in the wild trying to get some photographs of a lioness. And she took his damn camera. That's an expensive camera too. That costs a couple of thousand. And she just go pick it up like a toy. Just take it back to her cubs. And then give it to them to play with. Man, I hope you got that record button on. I want to know how it got the camera in the first place. Like it went up to the human's like, hey, it's gonna be you or that camera. So like, you know, better hand it over. I hope we got the memory card out of it or something. This is so painful to look at. I can't imagine. Shh. I love my cameraman. I would never let that happen to you. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so good. Look how cute it is. It just like, 
flops onto your hand like give me attention why is this cat me though i would love to give it a belly rub this kitty is so cute i cannot right now i literally cannot it just might be cuter than lumpy this is adorable i would love to just on its paws just asking for it one like equals one belly rub woman dresses her dog as a mop and it's probably the best pet costume i've ever seen <gasps> Oh my god, this is an actual dog. This is a perfect Halloween costume. She put it in a mop bin and she got the mop stick and everything. Just insert dog in here. That's the goodest mop I ever did see. What I tell you? What I tell you about these damn seagulls? This one snatched somebody's dentures right out of their mouth. Just imagine poor grandma chilling on the beach. Maybe she decided to take a nap. You know, falls asleep with her mouth open. And this little bit decides to swoop on in and snatch Match those teeth. Ah! No. Whose bird is this? These are some little ass, man. What's he gonna do with them? Maybe he wants teeth. Do birds have teeth? I know they got beaks. Maybe he got the top half in his nest and then he's gonna go home. Like got the top row of teeth and the bottom row of teeth and attach them. Bam, he got a set of teeth. What are you gonna go do now? Eat a burger? Take a bite of an apple? Uh, oh. No! I just knocked Yay! <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Ooh, we got a cute little penguin. And oh! Y'all see that? He bit his butt. He's like, don't just stand here. You gonna do it. I'm gonna make you do it. Jump! Oh! The poor penguin. He look like he about to end it all. And this dude just chilling here like, let me help you out. Out in the... <gasps> this turtle too. So rude. He literally just like, yeet. No, it's more like, yeet. Get out of here. This is my home turf. Go back in the water where you belong. <laughs> Why is this my dog though? So there is a pint of ice cream. And the cat stuck its head in to finish it. And then the pint got stuck on its head. This is my dogs all the time. Like whenever I give them something in like a cup or a glass or something, they stick their whole face inside of it. So this family decided to go buy some live lobsters so they can boil them at home and eat them. And while they were in the sink, one of them got a knife! Bro, you can't just be leaving these knives around the lobsters. Like, he has a knife. What are you gonna do now? He really don't wanna die. He's like, not, mm -mm, not today. You try to eat me? I'd like to see you try. What you do in this situation? Throw something at it? What if it crawls out of the sink? And suddenly you got Mr. Krabs running around your kitchen with a knife. Y'all pick the baddest lobster in the ocean. Take me down to the paradise city where the girls are bears and they bear bear. Whoa! This is family friendly here. This bear gotta chill. We got this girl over here casually brushing her teeth and the cat decides to put its paw on the toothbrush. Is that my toothbrush? I can't believe you're using my toothbrush on your dusty, crusty, musty mouth. Now give it back. Ha! That's where humans win. Cause cats, they don't have thumbs. It's like going like this. You can't pull it out. Ah! Cats think they rule their human and the world. Whatever they say goes. Now that the snow is melting, I finally figured out where all my socks have gone. Oh my god. This poor doggy, he took all of his owner's socks and took them outside. And then it snowed on them. And when the snow finally melted, it's like, hmm. So there goes all my socks. I don't know what it is with dogs and socks. Maybe because the socks have your scent on them. Specifically, your sweaty feet stench. Ain't nobody gonna appreciate that scent except your dog. I don't know what they like about it, but my dogs do that too. They love socks and underwear. It's like, mmm, this reminds me of my human. I love my human. I'm gonna chew on it. Dog logic, I guess. This dog dragged the sprinkler in through the dog door. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> that dog door is a little too big that he could drag a sprinkler into the house. Y'all should have filled up his water bowl. Dogs do crazy things when they don't have water. He could have drank it outside, but no. He's like, nah, I'm gonna bring this back into the comfort of my own home. And also to remind my human that I need water. So my neighbors have a dog, right? And they got an electric fence to keep him in the yard. But this dog, this mother genius of a dog gets close enough to the fence that his collar will beep and then he lets the collar beep until it runs out of battery and then he goes and does whatever the heck he wants because he just beat the system oh i 
I'm so impressed the dog came up with that. That is really smart. How does the dog figure that out? Like, oh, they gave me a shock collar. You know what? I'm just gonna let it run out of battery. Cause dogs know how a battery works. It just blows my mind. How this dog is this smart. Here's a news article. Guinea pig to become father to 400 after breaking into female enclosure. Ah! Damn, all I can say is he a thought. He gonna be paying hella pellets in child support. I put my dog on the trampoline for 0.3 seconds and she became an electric type Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't know a trampoline does that. I haven't been on a trampoline before. This is so cute. Important update from mom. My neighbor's dogs just pushed out the screen window and they're on the roof. Dog party? What? What kind of dog is gonna do this? Like they're just gonna, they're just gonna push out the screen door, jump out of a window and chill on the roof. Okay, these dogs they are too smart. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.